Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 149 of Mini Trucking Magazine. It's May of 2004, a little less than 20 years ago. You have the first full custom green SUV Scion XB or XB Scion. The model is Vivian Viviana Hughes, I believe. And a huge milestone with this issue at Wes Allison's. 50th credited magazine cover for Mini Truck and Magazine. That is huge. No one's even close to that. Now, uh, not only is it a cool issue, remember when these things came out, they kind of really became big, and they're still pretty big with a lot of different uh, folks. Uh, kind of reminds me of when the PT Cruiser came out, although many of us laugh at those maybe now. When they first came out, man, they were all over the magazines. Now, one cool thing here is uh this is subspecies the toyota that was featured in the last issue so ironically enough imagine getting featured in the last issue they used that as an insert shot for this one and then of course it's also appears in a tech article in this issue this is weird science science uh, a very cool name one of my favorite titles for a cover and this was the second of four total acrophobia covers Check out the model. Check out the SUV. Is it a mini truck? Is it a mini car? They will ask that in this issue. If you like what we're doing here, please check us out. OLP. Just search OLP via any podcast app. So you can see here MIC. By the way, MIC is the company that's getting in the Mini Truck Hall of Fame for this year, 2023. Uh, you can see there on the cover is the full custom Scion XB Wes Allison. Got Sean Reese's Pebble Pushers Dime and some others. So check that out. You got the Scion, you got the S10, you got the Isuzu, you got the Mazdog, you got the Yoda. Very important, obviously, as you'd imagine, to mix things up if you could. Uh, sure, some issues were themed S10s or whatnot, but certainly, you know, you would want to cater to your base. And uh, that was a key thing. How sweet, fresh meat. You can see here the uh, photo shoot going down, kind of one of those rare behind the scenes photos that they would share. And something new uh, in the automotive world at that time. I'm certainly not a Scion expert, um, but obviously they were, they were fresh at that time. Uh, here you can see Project Beat to Neat. Uh, they mentioned Paul Morton had left the company and that topic had come up so it wasn't often that they circled back on things like that uh here is godfather customs you know mentioning the southeastern mini trucking and sport compact car nationals that was a lot that was that would have been an upcoming show be that this was the may issue so they were kind of um you know highlighting that here again, Sean, S-H-O-N, Reese. Shout out to Pebble Pushers again. These guys uh, are, do all the credit for building some of the sickest rides. This is Jawbreaker, as it's known, at least in the feature. And uh, he was from Liberty, South Carolina. Super clean. If you don't know, now you know Pebble Pushers. They're known to have some of the lowest trucks around. A lot of them are doored. Uh, some of you, many of you know what that is, but... Uh, some of you may not. A lot of their trucks, basically, the rocker is cut all the way down and there's, you know, fab work done so that when the truck is laid all the way out and you open the door, literally the door is dragging. So, hence the name Pebble Pushers. They're pushing pebbles, uh, if you will, right? Uh, but even if even if one of their rides wasn't doored, I mean, you look at this and I go, man, this is one of the lowest dimes I've seen. Super sick. Super sick. Always love talking with these guys at shows. Love the dime. Not everybody would shave the uh, firewall. You know, you can see that they did it on this one. And uh, just a real hot rod themed mini truck to a certain extent. Love the bridge work in the back as well. Extensive was really kind of doing that for a while with the dualies and the things that we would see at um, Showfest. Here's the Scion XB. Is it a mini truck or a mini car? Shout out to Michelle Boone. She's still rocking hers out there in relaxed atmosphere. Here's Bring the Noise. I think this was 2003. Uh, October 2003. And you can see 
all the rides there. Now we're gonna keep on keeping on. The cool thing is we're past the halfway mark and it seems like we got a lot to go and we do. Of course, we're on issue 149. We gotta go to 269. My goal, mm, I wanna, I'd love to finish all these up by the end of the year. Uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Original Sin, this was Brian Smith's 9.5 Isuzu Pup, Glendale, Arizona. Super clean truck. I I'm a big fan of the look. You know, uh, these look great to me with the, number one, you've got the 4x4 sheet metal. Number two, you've got the shaved corner. And just that plain look, you know, that little ghost flame here with the billets, it, it, this is all this is this is all I need right here. Super clean interior. Tip of the cap on this one. And I don't read out every you know person that shot these. You guys can obviously see them. You could bump these to 4K. But remember, you can also look at the description. I list everything. Um I've actually started listing more information. So now I list the owner's name and I list the photographer. I do plan to go back at some point and possibly redo some of the early flip throughs because I was doing them in my shop. I was doing them. It was, sometimes it was a little low light. I found there's more light, excuse me, in here. And, you know, some of those I was doing little intros and I'd pop into the videos. And, you know, obviously I've kind of got my groove down here being behind the camera, uh, which is really what I want to do in terms of these. So... You know, let's get through the rest of these first, and then we'll look forward to the return of Mini Trucking Magazine, which is actually happening. And then we'll also look back at some of those early issues. I got to definitely redo the thumbnails on those. Ground Zero Madness. So you can see here, a lot of trucks. Love, love when the palm trees are back there. And some clean minis with some old school. This was in Phoenix. I've been to a show in Phoenix. And this might be at the same place. I can't tell. Maybe not. Uh, but I went to a show at Castle and Coasters. The Severed in the Southwest. That was a lot of fun. This thing was super sick in that era. You know, the big wheels, the suicide doors. I think it was featured on one of the DVDs. The many DVDs that would eventually come out. Uh, for different features including like domination and, and those. Uh, you can see here, if you're paying attention, they're still not all color. So uh, I haven't really mentioned that recently. And I know some of you are probably like, why do you keep bringing that up? But if you think about it, I mean, the magazine started in 88, we're, st we're into 2004 and we're still not all color. Of course, what's, what drives that is, you know, the, the cost, right? It depends on a lot of different things. Weird Science... Love the title. Love this layout. There's a couple things I love about it. The green is great. The model looks awesome. And you can see here they got a little wild. I dig it. And uh, let's let's put some models back on the cover. At least a few here and there. You can see here Mike Alexander and Lance wrote it. Photography was Wes. Model was Viviana Hughes. This was Jason Camanche. 04 Scion from Georgia Acro. There you go. The second Acrophobia truck, mini truck on the cover. And you can see why it earned the cover. We saw in the uh, Lance scrub line, uh, Wes shooting some of the, the photos. Uh, this was a thing, again, if you look back at mini truck in history, uh, I talk about this sometimes. You know, TVs in the headrests. TVs, aka monitors, but then the flip down monitor as well. That stuff came and went. It seems like fairly quickly now, but really in hindsight, you know, what killed that off was smartphones and tablets because people started to say, well, why do I need to put a fixed screen in my vehicle if I could give my child in the back seat or let them use an iPad or, you know, an Android device? Super clean. Again, if you like what we're doing here, leave a thumbs up, even if it's just an emoji, um, for a comment. 
uh, certainly leave a thumbs up, number one. But if you can, just, you know, comment. Uh, we've continued to see uh, growth, and uh, I've expanded out. I recently did the video that I've been wanting to do for a while uh, relating to the OBS from Budnick. So I would encourage you uh, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be a lot more coming. I think I'm going to do more of those, uh, you know, on individual trucks. That, of course, takes time to pull together and scan and upload and create the little thing. But, you know, if it's something that you guys appreciate, a lot of these trucks, you know, got a lot of love in different media. So it's kind of cool to, to kind of curate and pull it all together. This was Sean McMillan's 89 Mazda B 2200. Super clean. And one thing I like about this feature is if you've been following these flip throughs, I mean, this feature to me was kind of an old, I don't know, it seems like a little bit older school of a feature because you have the truck three quarter, front three quarter, and then you just have, you know, earlier in the magazine run, they would just run uh, the wording down there. You got a kind of an old school shot you'd see from time to time on a, a dirt road or whatnot on the back roads. They kind of pull and park like that. Cobalt Crush super awesome truck super clean uh often some of you guys also chime in and say hey i got into mini trucking around you know 2002 three four it's always it's always cool to hear about that too because although uh, of course i'm a little older than some of you we uh, we all kind of got in at different times and that's that's okay you can't help one thing you can't help in life is when you're what year you're born at least I don't think you can. There is smooth ride. So the truck that I mentioned on the cover, which is the insert shot, they often refer to as. And again, it was featured in the last issue. So not only are you smiling on the previous month, but you come back and go, wow, now my truck's on the cover. Pretty cool. This is Brian Hudson's 88 Toyota pickup from Louisiana, negative camber. And this is Justin Cross uh, who shot it. We'd see his name, of course, in the mag. And every time I talk about this is an NC truck, I always forget what that's called, Maltese Cross. And um, it just popped in my head. I don't know how my brain works sometimes. It's kind of weird. And then you can see the rest of the photos here. Interior, super clean. Check out that uh, sunroof. Up in NC, of course, as I mentioned. Now, here's a fun fact. Here's a throwback. Kool Aid of IF Customs at the time. You can see the IF Customs logo. This is the truck that was my chariot uh, when I went out to SEMA for the first time in 03. And uh, he picked me up from the airport in that truck. We cruised everywhere. He cruised that truck like it was like it was a daily driver that was not body dropped. He dragged that truck like it was just a regular car. And um, it was awesome. There you go. There's the truck I mentioned in the past. And then here, look, that photo is still there. I told you it's probably one of the the most used photos in mini truck in history. And again, that was taken right there in Tampa at the fairgrounds. You can kind of see it changed a little bit with a with the green hue to it. But shout out to Kool Aid Man, Triple OG, good dude, and uh, it's always fun to slap hands with them. You have Cliff Jackson on the left with the Ranger Shane W O O L F Wolf with the 72 Datsun. I'm gonna wrap this up here in just a minute. Again, if you haven't checked out the podcast, open any podcast app, including Pandora, and just search OLP or Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It's pretty cool. This, I don't think we, we saw in every issue, but this was kind of an old school thing too, the ad index. The thought process was you'd look, quickly look here and go, oh, LMC truck, page 53, um, so. And really the only thing I want to mention of MT Graffiti is check this photo out right there. Biggity boom, Chad Lucas's Pathfinder. I got a chance to see that at his house. I helped a little bit, put a couple pieces on it. And uh, I believe this was taken at his, uh, at his house, his parents' house. Uh, I remember being in the garage. Now, granted, this kind of has, you know, you can see the three cars. So you got that and you got this the single, I think, over there, it looks like with the wall behind it, but kind of reminiscent to me, those three car garages with Pat Nichols, of course, ballistic laid out, but uh, very cool. Shout out to Chad, good dude, 
always enjoy catching up with him. With that being said, what do you guys think? I don't really have any other fun facts uh, to point out at this one. What do you think? Does the Scion at this point deserve the credit? Now, the next issue is also an Acrophobia ride. So we'll talk about that. Issue 150 that Joe Greaves shoots. And uh, with that being said, go ahead and subscribe now. If you haven't already, leave a comment. As I mentioned, I really appreciate the support. Stay on the ride, y'all. And check out that podcast. We out to you. Peace.